Sadani Barbie and if you're new to my channel my name is Ludia nice to meet you cousin um so today this is a video that a lot of my um subscribers and viewers have been asking me for DMing me about on Instagram snapchatting me about and I've been saying that I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it all of this stuff I'll be playing y'all I'll be playing but your girl be busy so today i'm bringing y'all the what i eat in a day video and this food that i'm about to be showing y'all is like food that i was eating when i was on my 14 day diet the foods that i'm going to be showing y'all is the foods that i was eating during my 14 day strict diet and it really improved and helped with me my losing my entire 36 pounds so basically i'm super 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 excited to show you guys because i really didn't think that my my youtube video on my weight loss journey was gonna do numbers like this like we're almost at 50k views you guys and um i've officially hit 1k subscribers i think i'm at 1.4k now and i'm so thankful for everything like okay i'm done talking i'm talking too much let's just get directly into the video so for breakfast I did tell you guys that I was eating two fruits and the person who inspired me to do this literally like the whole 14 day thing was love your natural literally she is the bomb.com her words are so inspirational and she's just putting the girl on putting the girls on you know so um I picked two fruits every single day this was the different thing that I did every day I mean every week I picked two fruits every single week I didn't mean to say day I picked two fruits every single week and then I put mixed nuts in it. Honey. In here, I got bananas, grapes, and mixed nuts. And it's like almonds and I got this these mixed nuts have raisins in it, but it's all fine. A, a lot of my um, viewers have been DMing me on Instagram asking me what kind of mixed nuts I use. I literally just use the generic brand anywhere. Like I would get it from Kroger, Walmart, or just your regular grocery store because a lot of states don't really have Kroger or Walmart. Okay, so that's what I do for breakfast. And I would literally eat that at 11, 11 or 12, around your lunchtime. Because at that time when I was doing this two week diet, I was working in the mornings. So I did this at 11. 12 and I didn't eat as soon as I woke up I didn't eat I was doing green tea decaffeinated green tea and also people ask what kind of green tea I use or what kind of green tea I drunk I literally drunk generic green tea like literally Kroger brand Kroger brand Walmart brand eh brand great value whatever you want to call it I was drinking the generic kind of like it's all green tea I was drinking it okay so for lunch this is what I was drink. I mean, eating for lunch. I was eating three different types of vegetables every single week. I would switch it up. So it's like when you go to the grocery store, you want to buy enough to last you the whole week. And with once you come towards the end of the week, you want to like eat more so that you can finish it out. So you're not wasting food and all that stuff. But it's normally will be a lot more because you can eat so much more vegetables, literally. You're gonna be so full, like literally, you're not gonna wanna eat the rest of the day. You're gonna be full, you're gonna be eating clean, all that good stuff. Literally, this, these are sweet peas, but I would eat asparagus, broccoli, cucumbers, avocado. It's anything you wanna do, as long as it's clean and low calorie. Me, in my opinion, I feel like as long as each vegetable is like 20 calories, you're fine, in my opinion. Because that's what I was doing. Making sure everything was like 30, 25, 20 calories, or even less, like each vegetable. So you can eat so much more, like literally, what is 200 calories of vegetables going to do to you? Nothing. And then you're eating these fruits, these fruits and these mixed nuts. This is probably like 300 calories. You're literally eating like 500 calories a day including your green tea that I don't think that's, I think that's zero calories. You're, I'm in, whoa, pause. The green tea, decaffeinated green tea was literally um, no sugar, no sugar. I, eh, what is going on today? Okay, 
it was no sugar at all. I drank no sugar with the green tea and I made sure that I did my gallon a day of the detox water. That is something that Johnny, right now I'm currently in London. So I don't really have my gallon of water, but I'm telling you the gallon of water is what will flush you out. It's gonna make you go to the bathroom a lot so you can pee and flush your whole system out. It didn't really make me poop, but because maybe the green tea would the green tea does flush you out i'm tripping the green tea does flush you out but um the water green tea and as long as you got your healthy clean foods you're fine so one thing i really did want to talk about on this video is the cheating because sometimes there is moments where you literally feel like you need to have something that you're really craving like your favorite anything so this is a perfect example because this was this happened during my um in my 14 day diet because I don't want to act like I'm this perfect perfect oh yeah I thugged it out oh um yeah I didn't cheat at all yeah this is this is that it's not like that yes it is a mental thing but I cheated like twice but it wasn't like nothing wild like I'm gonna go get me a whole Burger Boy meal or a whole um what do I be in Texas Roadhouse like meal it wasn't none of that like on i think it was around mother's day my parents they got us texas roadhouse but i got salmon i got salmon so that was part like in in the middle of my 14 day diet i got salmon one day but i had salmon and broccoli and corn so i was fine because yes it's not meat but it's i'm pescatarian i was a pescatarian at that moment i'm still pescatarian now but I, I do eat meat sometimes, so you know, I'm a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of both, you know? So, um, basically, I had salmon. I guess you could say that's a cheat day. And then another time, my mom got Texas Roadhouse. She had some chicken tenders. I wanted one, I got one, and that's just on period, okay? So, I don't wanna act like I miss Goody Two Shoes because I've done cheated. And it's okay. It's literally okay as long as you don't continuously do it. Because if you continuously do it, there's no point in the diet. You're going to get into a habit to where it's going to be like, um, yeah, I'm just going to eat this much of chicken right now and then eat some later and then I'm going to work it off. No, your body needs to stay clean, okay? After I did cheat, I made sure that I drunk my green tea to flush me out and water like I literally was just making sure I was getting the thing done okay do you hear me so yeah okay also I want to make sure I didn't leave anything out because any other questions that I don't have in my weight loss video I'm trying to put it in here because the next video after this will literally be a workout video and I'm literally gonna I'm so excited for that like I'm gonna do my what everything that I did at the gym um, once I started working out because I didn't start working out until I lost 30 pounds so, um, what else would I leave out? My height. A lot of people have been asking me about my height. My height, I am five, five and a half, almost five, six. So, um, yeah, currently I'm still 190. Um, I was 226 when I first started my weight loss journey and now I'm 190. So that's 36 pounds. Go girl. All right, Barbies. And the last thing that I wanted to come to you guys about is like a couple tips that pushed me to keep going because I did have a couple um, of my youngins come to me and ask me for tips and all other stuff. So I just felt so special because I really do like talking to y'all. Like I really do. And I really appreciate all the support and love that you guys show me all the time since I started youtube because it's literally only been two months and i'm so close to getting monetized and i'm absolutely so thankful for everything so a couple tips that i want to give when trying to lose weight okay so i know when at times when people are overweight there is these negative people we're gonna call them the demons okay there are these negative people that feel like they have to let you know that you're fat or let you know that you're overweight, just to try to make you feel bad, like they'll call you fat, just negative names and all this other stuff. And you have to take that 
what they said and literally run with it take off with it because literally if you don't they're going to continue to like continue to insult you continue to make you feel bad and if you really want to change yourself you're going to prove to them that honey honey nothing you say nothing you say can make me make myself worse yes i understand that for your for anyone's sake if you really want to change your life like how i wanted to if you really want to because it took me so long to want to get to lose weight if you literally want to do it you can i promise to god you can you just have to put that put what you want in your head pray on it i'm telling you because god was my best friend when i was trying to lose weight when i was fighting through it and making sure that i was on my diet on my p's and q's getting everything every single thing done okay if you want it you can have it i promise you just don't let the negative thoughts bring you down let it bring you up let it bring you up okay honey so another thing when it comes to okay this is what i advise when you first start losing weight do not keep weighing yourself every single day you have to weigh yourself weigh yourself like every two weeks every week once a week whatever when you first start do it every week so that you can see the changes in your body like see how much you're losing every week but like once you're consistent with the weight loss and everything go ahead and do it every single two weeks you feel me but yes you guys like i love the confidence that a lot of people i've been reading all y'all comments i've been trying to reply to all of them but it's just been a lot but honestly like i really do support everybody's weight loss journey i swear like and i want y'all to keep going pray on it stay positive wake up every day and just be like yes i'm gonna get this done yes i'm gonna get that done like that's the energy that you guys need and when you get that energy and you keep going god is gonna give you what you want i promise you i promise you so that is it barbies if you guys like this outfit the pictures will be up on instagram today you can follow me on instagram at ludia.y y'all gonna see it in the beginning of the video if you missed it scroll back or i'll put it somewhere over here thank you so much barbies for everything i really do appreciate it i hope you guys have a blessed day like comment and subscribe and make sure you guys tune into my weight loss journey video we almost at 50k is and my birthday is in two days today is september 4th my birthday is september 6th so make sure you guys show love to my instagram follow me thank you guys so much barbies bye <laughs>